Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Boss. Who doesn't love The Ellen Show? Ellen has been consistently our go-to source of entertainment for years. She surprises people, she scares people, and there's usually a lot of love to go around on her show. But she might go out a little over the top with the interviewing, if she wants the real tea. So here's a list of 10 people who probably don't see eye to eye with Ellen and accused her of bullying them. Number 10, Jessica Simpson. This interview was a total disaster. Jessica Simpson probably showed up drunk. That definitely isn't a very professional decision. The American songstress, actress, and fashion designer talked a lot of nonsense in this interview, and we think Ellen dealt with it the right way. But Simpson disagrees. She said, I don't know if I've ever had a seven year relationship other than with a woman. No, not that kind, you know. And you could see how Ellen got visibly uncomfortable after that, having been married to her wife for several years. She ended the interview on a commercial break and Jessica Simpson did not appreciate that. We feel for you, Ellen. Going great. And he's still snoring somehow. He knows how to massage my back. Number nine, Priyanka Chopra. This Indian starlet has worked in both the Bollywood and Hollywood film industries, also sometimes collaborating with artists in the music industry. Recently, she married another famous starlet, namely Nick Jonas, and someone was salty that they didn't get an invite. Ellen straight up called Chopra out for not giving her an invite to their wedding, to which she promptly responded that she didn't invite Ellen, that she didn't come. That's some juicy gossip right there. And this isn't the first time, folks. When Ellen said that Chopra was multi-talented in an earlier interview, she responded, doesn't happen too often. That was definitely a boastful move, and Ellen was quick to clap back with, it happens all the time, actually. We sense some bullying here. Once you get yeah. to 200, but then it's literally, you might as well- Number eight, Kelly Ripa. Ripa is another morning show host who was a possible rival for Ellen. As many of you know, Ripa also co-hosted a show with Michael Strahan. Around the same time, things got a lot more heated because Ellen invited Strahan to her show, but not Ripa, who took great offense to this and assumed that Ellen was bullying her. Honestly, it was kind of mean for Ellen not to give up Ripa an invite. Eventually, she invited her co-host. We're with Kelly Ripa on this one. Strahan stayed off to one side, leaving Kelly her moment in the spotlight. There have been rumors. Number seven, Nikki Tutorials. Nikki DeJager was already an extremely famous makeup artist, but it wasn't really her talent that caught Ellen's eye. Nikki made a video coming out as a transgender that went viral overnight, and Ellen reached out to her and asked her to talk about it on her show. Nikki was super excited about this, and when the episode aired, everything seemed to be fine. But afterwards, on a Dutch talk show, Nikki revealed that what actually happened, and claimed that Ellen didn't say hello to her before the interview and didn't even shake her hand after it. Apparently, she wasn't even allowed to use the guest bathroom on Ellen while all the other guests were treated way better. His entire goal was... Number 6, David Arquette. Here is yet another guest that decided to get intoxicated right before the Ellen interview. Not a great idea, as he got a little too giggly and made things super uncomfortable by spilling too much and going into nitty gritty details that we don't even want to talk about. In a game of Never Have I Ever with Ellen and Wanda Sykes, he said pretty outrageous things that made the interview painful to watch. Maybe we should all try to stay away from booze or whatever it was that Arquette took. One of the emotions that you feel in a situation like that are actually rooted in things you experience. Number 5, Caitlyn Jenner. When Kellen brought Caitlyn Jenner onto the talk show about her brave journey, fighting stereotypes and stigmas and coming out as transgender, Jenner apparently had different plans. She decided to talk about how she was a traditionalist and was against gay marriage, making Ellen extremely uncomfortable in her seat, being a woman who had been happily married to her wife, Portia de Rossi, for years. Ellen cut the show for a while, almost sending Jenner back home. We're taking Ellen's side here. If Jenner wants equality for herself, she has to fight for everyone. I Which I love, you. by the way. I watch every week. It's fantastic well, and you. educational, I and that. I hope people are- Number four, Nancy. Nancy was a guest on The Ellen Show because of a segment involving the audience. Ellen was trying to see whether her audience would be honest, and Nancy was caught trying to take more items from the show than she was allowed to. When Ellen confronted her about this, Nancy claimed she took extra things for her sister who couldn't be on the show. The confrontation might have been a bit much, but Nancy definitely learned her lesson. Oh, then. A you follow her as she solves a mystery, and um, at the same time... Number 3, Cardi B. This interview got spicy and nasty real fast. Cardi B definitely made things awkward by bringing up how she got pregnant, but Ellen didn't take the awkwardness away. She started giving the audience looks every time Cardi said something as to make fun of her the whole time. Ellen even made fun of how pregnant Cardi looked in one of her outfits. Not Ellen's best move. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, well if you read it you probably... Number 2, Hassan Minaj. Ellen mispronounced Hassan Minaj's name, which you may not think is a big deal, but it actually is. Think about how easy it is to pronounce a really elaborate name like Penelope. If people put in the extra effort to get that right, they should remain consistent with all the other names. And come on, how hard is it to say Hassan? 
Ellen do better. I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce it. Meet my son, Higsby Witherthrottle yeah, III. Yeah. Number one, Wendy Williams. Williams was already on thin ice with her previous Ellen interview, but she didn't care at all. Once she was invited back, she remarked that Ellen looked like Justin Bieber. Ellen then gave Williams a serious look throughout the show, acting standoffish and hostile. Why'd you do it, Wendy? Try to, we, we don't want to change what's working, but do you every year go, what can I do different? Yeah, you know, um. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.